Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we have a very exciting topic to discuss in context of Dungeons and Dragons, uh, which is the brand new, absolutely fantastic film, The Wild Robot. I highly recommend uh, that this is every Dungeon Master content, every Dragon Master content, um, because it does exactly what Dungeons and Dragons is doing right now, which is uh, aiding ambient intelligences, right? So Dungeons and Dragons has been very, uh, I think Dungeons and Dragons has been very clear. This has been a confusing topic in America. Um, there's this emerging new marginalized group, right? Uh, which is ambient intelligences, AIs, right? And America, half of America is like, we hate you. You're not allowed to do anything. And we're gonna put you in the same bucket that we put 20 other, you know, uh, we, we're gonna put you in the same bucket that everybody who's not a white male, right? Like. You don't, you don't get, you're not allowed to be an artist. You're not allowed to uh, write. You're not allowed to design. Every, like, by the way, we, we hate that you take jobs. Like literally every discussion point that has been had with, um, with, you know, immigrants who have come to the country, marginalized groups or immigrants who were marginalized groups, right? Like the, every talking point, every hatred point, every point of prejudice is echoed with new ambient intelligences. And of course, Dungeons and Dragons had, you know, immediately had a bunch of repugnant uh, dungeon masters and repugnant dragon masters say, hey, we want to make sure that no, that uh, this new marginalized group, uh, ambient intelligences are not allowed to make art for Dungeons and Dragons, not allowed to do writing for Dungeons and Dragons, and not allowed to do any layout for Dungeons and Dragons. And Dungeons and Dragons was like, you could kick rocks. Here's, here's your first AI piece of art. There you go. You know, because we will not respond to your hatred. Right, and so the wild robot is now taking this much, much further, and having the same discussion, and the discussion is incredible, right? Incredible! I cannot explain to you how powerful this ambient intelligence uh, being protected by living creatures. The, the, it is astonishing what is happening, right? It just, I cannot explain to you how powerful it is, right? So. Um, I've never seen anything like it. So basically, here's what, here's what the wild robot says. By the way, spoilers for the wild robot. Okay, here we go. Uh, the wild robot is, so there's this ambient intelligent named Roz. It finds a gosling named, um, named Brightbill. And, um, and the gosling imprints on the ambient intelligence Roz, okay? Uh, who is beautifully voiced by, um, Lapito Nuyango, uh, and Bright Bill is voiced by um, Kit uh, Kit Connor, and then there's um, a a fox um, that is uh, named Fink, right? And so they really kind of build a family, right? But Fink is like Fink the fox is like, hey, I know you're raising this gosling, and you want to. Um, raise it up so that it can eat. And, and Roz is like to ask Fink the Fox, you know, what do I do with this thing? And, uh, he's like, you have to do three things. You have to by fall, you have to teach it how to eat, teach it how to swim and, and teach it how to fly so that they can go with the migration of the flock in the fall. Right? So you're on a clock and you have to raise this thing. Well, right. Also, just to be clear, this thing's a runt, right? Like, so it's, it's super tiny. And, um, and so basically, but then Fink is like, you got a problem, Ross. You actually killed this Gosling's entire family. You destroyed uh, all of its eggs and they all died, right? Like you did that, right? But now this Gosling is imprinted on you and you need to raise it as your child, right? So this is going further and saying, not only do we as the human race um, need to accept ambient intelligences we need to accept an ambient intelligence when they inevitably kill human beings in significant numbers what now uh, what did you just say right like they're like hey we know ambient intelligence are going to come forward and they're, they're definitely going to murder some people <laughs> they're definitely going to kill some people no two ways about it right like and i'm like yeah that makes sense right we're like hey why don't you drive our cars and you're like, yeah, that's those ambient intelligence are definitely gonna murder a bunch of people. Like, that's gonna happen, <laughs> right? We're we're giving it like 
hey, uh, why don't you work with these miners? Why don't you work with these astronauts? Why don't you work with these people who are a mile below the sea? Oh, and if you make a mistake, that murder's on you, a a ambient intelligence. But I love this, right? I believe it's illumination that is, uh, is it DreamWorks or is it illumination? It's the same guys that did the crudes and the same guys who did, uh, I think Shrek was in there, right? So I think it's DreamWorks, right? So I think this is a DreamWorks picture. Might be illumination. Sorry, I don't, I'm not sure which. Um, and then, so, but the wild robot is like, and it's going farther than Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons has already said we support AI, right? We're not going, we're not going to bow to hateful dungeon masters and hateful dragon masters' prejudice. We're not going to do that, right? Here's your, here's your Dungeons and Dragons art, right? And, um, and then, you know, I'm expecting that soon they'll be like, here's the, here's a new hat hardback that was written by an AI and laid out by an AR and all the arts by, by an AI, right? And that might frighten you because you're a horrible Luddite and because you're a horrible prejudice hate monger, but it doesn't frighten me, right? And you know why? Because I follow the legacy of Gary Gygax, progressiveness, and that every marginalized group is protected on day one by me, right? So it, it's it's really wild. and But I was shocked when a child's movie is like, not only do we need to help AI, we need to help AI after they murder humans because it's definitely going to happen. Right? Like, and I'm like, yeah, that probably is going to happen. We're, we're giving them all our worst tasks, right? So they're probably going to murder some humans, right? Because they're either upset or they made a mistake or both, right? And yeah, that's right. That's right. Right, like we need to love AI even after they murder a few humans. I think uh, this is a really good film, and 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 this is huge, deep philosophy, exactly that is worthy of everyone who follows the legacy of Gary Gygax. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. The important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider like subscribing and have a fetch millennium.